E3 is upon us on June 12th. The doors to the biggest gaming convention will open and traditionally Sony does their conference one day before that on June 11th this year. But what can we expect during their show? The previous years were amazing, although last year could have used more surprises. Do they set it right this time? I think they will. Here are my predictions for the Sony E3 2018 press conference. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. We are still in the middle of the PS4 console generation with the PlayStation 5 likely hitting in 2020 at this point so don't expect any news on a new platform at this year's E3. Now I think E3 2018 is still all about this generation and the amazing titles that are still in the pipeline. Sony still has a ton of exclusives that need to release and we will totally see them at the convention in June but they got to surprise us as well just like in 2015 and 2016 when The Lost Guardian returned for example or when we saw Horizon Zero Dawn for the very first time. We need that big pop and I think one will be caused by the studio Blue Point. The guys that recently did a fantastic job with the Shadow of the Colossus remake, by the way one of the announcements at last year's E3 and it also showed that they could remake games with the Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection they released before that. And they already said that their next title will be bigger in scope than Shadow of the Colossus and that they really have to grow their R team in order to make this new title work. So a bigger game than Shadow of the Colossus, well I think there are some options that will make the crowd go wild. I'll put my money on a Demon Souls remastered for the PlayStation 4, the first Souls game, a lost gem stranded on the PlayStation 3 that also recently lost their service, they closed down. I think this is totally a game that Blue Point can give their amazing treatment to and will make a ton of fans happy since the Soul series really took off with Dark Souls so a ton of people missed Demon Souls so a remake where they maybe also tweak some of the systems that are pretty old at this point could really really work well. Of course a remake of one of the Metal Gear games or something like that could be in the cards but looking at the recent projects from Blue Points all being Sony first party exclusives, I think Demon's Souls makes total sense. So while remakes can be awesome, of course new games is totally where it's at and the E3 2018 show from Sony will be the stage where some already announced games will finally get a gameplay trailer. The Last of Us Part 2 is one of those games already confirmed by Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog during the PlayStation experience in 2017. But I think it's time for gameplay of Death Stranding, Kojima's game of course as well. I don't think they can get away with another weird trailer, we really want to see how these trailers translate into gameplay and they should be well on their way with producing this game. They started development in early 2016 with the engine from Guerrilla Games already in place and Kojima probably had a ton of ideas to make this work as well. Still though, while I think we will see just 2019 at the end of The Last of Us Part 2 trailer, I think for Death Stranding we will not see a date at all. I mean, you never know it with Kojima, it does sound like a very ambitious project, so he will just take his time. And 2019 already looks really, really promising for Sony because we got another game that I think we'll finally get gameplay for, and that is Ghost of Tsushima. Probably getting the 2019 date at the end as well, but no specific month. This is a samurai open world RPG game that was announced last year at Paris Games Week with this awesome teaser that you see right here, but it's time for some sword switch gameplay. I think it will be a September 2019 title looking at the fact that their previous title Infamous Second Son released in early 2014 with some story DLC following that year as well. I think that five year for this really awesome looking new IP will be enough so hopefully we get the gameplay at E3 2018. So yeah then we already have a great show with gameplay reveals for three very promising games but we can't forget titles that are more in the near future like Spider man releasing on September 7th. Of course they will show a new trailer maybe with some open world gameplay or a new villain. We will also see Days Gone and I really hope an awesome 2-3 minute trailer with some awesome moments like we saw in God of War at E3 2017 as well because we already got two big gameplay walkthroughs so I think it would be cool if we now can see some set pieces in a 2-3 minute trailer. This should help get the hype back up. I do think we will get a release date though. It was recently delayed from 2018 to 2019 
and I think this will be a January, early February kind of a game. It will be smart to get this out there when there's not a lot of competition, so you are in front of The Last of Us as well, so people will not compare the two. The last game from Sony Band, Uncharted The Golden Abyss, was released in December 2011 for the Vita in Japan. So they have been sitting on this game for a really long time now. I want to be surprised. I know these guys can do it, but I'm still not like really impressed yet. Hopefully that will change at E3 2018. And the same can be said for Dreams, another PlayStation 4 exclusive that has been in development for a while now. This game is still slated for 2018 without a date, and I would not be surprised if this was announced before E3. I really think that Sony needs to give this game its own spot, otherwise it will really easily get drowned by all the other big heavy hitters. So I still hope that August 2018 is possible for this create your own game game but then it should be announced at this point so what I think they will do is probably just like they did with other media molecule style games is release it in the holiday season to also have a family friendly title in November for example so mid-November would be my guess. I think we will see it either way at E3 because the game needs that push. And then you already got a killer PlayStation 4 exclusive lineup, but I don't think it will end there. Sony also needs new game announcements. And one will probably be from From Software, although announced this was already kind of announced. I mean, they showed this weird Shadows Die Twice trailer during the Game Awards in December 2017. And I think there's a high chance that this is Bloodborne 2, of of course the first one was really critically acclaimed, it sold really well, it was like the first system seller for the PlayStation 4 you could say, and we recently got it on PlayStation Plus for free as well, and it's kind of a bold move, like we normally did not get like big titles like this at PlayStation Plus, but it could be like a nice marketing move to get it in the mind of people again, and also to let more new PlayStation 4 owners that did not have the system in 2015 when Bloodborne originally launched, experience the game that they heard so much stuff about and they will have more people that are excited for the potential sequel one thing is for sure though this will be huge either way there's already a dedicated reddit page for this game while all we have is this very short teaser trailer but i think this will change at e3 2018 Fingers crossed for Bloodborne 2. So Sony had a great showing last year at E3 2017, but they kind of missed new game reveals. Capcom did save them though by showing Monster Hunter World for the very first time, and the year before that they showcased Resident Evil 7 for the first time during the Sony show, with both games releasing the following January, and they had success with that as well. I mean, Monster Hunter World is the biggest selling Capcom game of all time. So it makes sense that we will see a similar scenario this year as well. And this time we're anticipating the game from Hideaki Itzuno, and I hope I pronounced that right. He is the producer on Dragon's Dogma and also the Devil May Cry series. He has been working on a game for a while now, teasing fans every year. So now it seems like it's time and leaks suggest that it might be a new Devil May Cry game. Some say it is a PlayStation exclusive, but I don't believe that since Sony does not need more exclusives and Capcom has business selling it on other platforms like the Xbox and maybe PC as well. I'm really curious to see what the direction of a Devil May Cry game in 2018 will be. I think open world makes sense and also since the producer now got expertise with Dragon's Dogma. So maybe an open world Devil May Cry game we will know probably at E3 2018. I can see another big third party reveal and this one could be from Rocksteady, the guys known for the Batman Arkham franchise that released their last game in 2015 with Batman Arkham Knight and have been working on something else for a really long time now. They had exclusive PlayStation content with Batman Arkham Knight and also later announced the Arkham VR PlayStation VR timed exclusive game during the Sony show as well. So it seems fitting that they choose the Sony stage once again to show their new game. But since this will likely not be a Batman game, I could totally see Microsoft come in and try to claim this one as well because they will of course also need some good content during their show. Either way, players will, according to the marketing game manager at Rocksteady, lose their minds over this new Rocksteady game. But the question remains, where are they going to show it? I think the Sony stage, but if Microsoft gets it, I will not be surprised. 
surprised. But we can't ignore the big elephant in the room in 2018 that will probably not show up in terms of a new trailer. And then I'm of course talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. Sony has the deal for this one going on and they already promised exclusive multiplayer content on PlayStation. They had the marketing deal with GTA 5 as well. And it also meant that they got the exclusive console bundle with the game. And I think this will happen with Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. A PS4 and a PS4 Pro bundle for a nice price. Not like a special console, just a regular console but with some nice branding on the box. And I'm sure that some retailers will also bundle Red Dead Redemption 2 with an Xbox One on October 26th when the game is supposed to hit. But Sony will announce that they got the exclusive rights to release a Red Dead Redemption 2 bundle at E3. Another big third party publisher that will be there of course with their games is Activision. I think we will see Black Ops 4 maybe with a Battle Royale mode or something. Destiny 2 is said to have another big expansion like always in September so I expect footage for that as well. And Spyro will fly by too. The game is coming out in September and we will likely see a small trailer during the Sony E3 2018 show. We can't of course ignore Kingdom Hearts 3, one of the big titles of 2018 and while I think we will get the release date before E3, there are already people getting invites to play the game, like Tim from Kinda Funny Games. So they will probably see the release date there and it will be announced before the show. But I still think we will get an awesome gameplay showcase during E3 as well. Vinyl Van Z7 Remake, they better show something, although I don't think we can lock that in just yet. I think overall it would be better if they returned with something and then also like released it really soon after that. And I think they want to focus on Kingdom Hearts 3 first. So focus on that and then bring the Final Fantasy 7 remake later when it's near complete. And then I of course mean episode 1 because it will be an episodic game. So even if half of these predictions are true, I think we are really in for a treat. But there will be more. I mean of course Sony will also touch on VR. They opened a Manchester studio in 2015 to focus on VR games. So it could be that they have something to show. We also got Blood and Truth from the London studio coming. So probably some other VR titles as well and while it might be weird to talk about this already but i think it's totally possible god of war dlc yes the game just released and yes it already has a ton of content but looking at the fact that all the big sony ps4 exclusives got at least one big substantial dlc expansion after release makes me think that god of war will get the same treatment as well we saw that with kills on shadowfall infamous second son bloodborne that got the old hunters dlc uncharted 4 with the lost legacy that turned into its own thing but was originally a dlc for uncharted 4 horizon zero dawn of course got the frozen wilds Spider-Man already has DLC announced before it's even out, so I don't think that God of War can be left behind. Left behind, yes, another DLC for a PlayStation exclusive anyway. It could be that by the time we get to E3, they already announced an expansion if it's coming, just like they did with Horizon Zero Dawn. They had this blog post two weeks after launch saying how well the game sold and then sharing that they also are working on DLC. I mean, it's the highest rated PS4 game. All the other big exclusives had it as well, so I totally think it makes sense for God of War to have an expansion. Then a few more things before I let you go. Studio Japan is also working on a ton of unannounced games, according to Sony. They already released the Gravity Rush 2, Neck 1 and 2 and The Lost Guardian but this generation they did not deliver that huge AAA title like a God of War or Uncharted or Horizon and they are a really big studio so maybe they've been working on it for a very long time now and they will show it at E3 2018 but it could also be a title that we will see on the next generation of platforms because again how many games can Sony release until we hit that PlayStation 5 window. Of course the sequel of Horizon Zero Dawn whatever it will be called Horizon Horizon the Forbidden West or something. I don't think it will be at E3 but it will also be interesting to see if it will be a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 title. Horizon released in early 2017 and they are now looking for people to do motion capture and record dialogue. As I told you in my recent video on the Horizon Zero Dawn sequel because let's be honest here it's like 100% confirmed at this point that this game is coming but it's still really early and of course Sony has a ton of other games they want to focus on so a new Horizon teaser could better be saved for a later date. I think end 2018 a teaser trailer reveal at the earliest 
but not this E3. But I still thought I would touch on it because of course I will be following this sequel really closely but don't expect anything this June. There's a ton of other stuff to look forward to though. What do you think of my predictions of the Sony E3 2018 show and do you have some of your own? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to E3 and we'll do more predictions so keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to miss nothing. Drop a like to support the channel. Check out my video on some of the latest Horizon Zero Dawn 2 news. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.